Well, unfortunately, I am not going to be doing much flying for a little bit because I broke an arm on my copter. It was a very mild fall, really. I got tangled in a tree branch, and then it sort of tumbled out of the tree branch after I shut the motors down, and it fell onto my gravel driveway and just uh, must have been, you know, just the right angle or something. Broke the arm, and I don't have a spare. So let that be a lesson to you. Always buy spares. If you're out of something, you need to buy more. And actually, if you're down to one of something, you need to buy more. Because otherwise, you'll be grounded and you won't be able to fly and make interesting videos for people. That, combined with the weather, is really cutting into my flight time. But hey, what can you do? So in the meantime, I thought I would show you this. This is a hello Free Sky X4R, as you probably all recognize. And I've done a little bit of a mod to it. I have depinned it and soldered on lead directly and I've also done the analog RSSI output uh, to run into the ROSD Pro Mini board that I'm going to be using on the new build that I'm uh, working on um, this receiver for. Uh, I wish I could take credit for this idea but I can't. Uh, I, I saw a photo recently on the internet of someone who had done this and thought oh well that's pretty cool and then did it. So I, I, and I'm, I'm very sorry to whoever that was. I can't remember who you were or where I saw it. it just the idea stuck in my head and uh, now here I am uh, promoting it. So credit where credit's due. If, you, if this is you, please speak up and I will happily attribute you. But in the meantime, here it is. Um, the, uh, the analog soldering was not too bad as long as you have a fine tip soldering iron. And you can see I've added a little bit of glue, hot glue here to reinforce that wire so that uh, so that it doesn't get pulled off because that is not a very big pad. Uh, and there you go. Now, if you install this in your copter, of course, you're going to need to find some way to keep it from accidentally shorting uh, in an unwanted way. So uh, you could certainly put some heat shrink on it, although that would cover the, the LEDs and the bind button. Although, my experience is that once I've bound a FreeSky receiver, I almost never have to mess with it again after that. It just works. So, I could see that going either way. I often just put like a piece of uh, double-sided foam tape on one side and use that to attach it to the copter, and then that's just the end of it. So, anyway, any number of ways you could go there. Um, FreeSky has a new version of the X4RSB that they are selling that basically is like this, except it just has one micro connector. Uh, I don't know, micro pico blade or micro JST, or I don't know what it is. And, and it gets rid of all the extra pins. Uh, but I kind of like this one better because I'm pretty sure I read that the new X4R receiver doesn't have an analog voltage sensor. And I like the analog voltage sensor on this, on this receiver. Now you may say, well, if you've got a uh, smart port telemetry, what do you need an analog voltage sensor for? You just feed VBAT into your flight controller. Your flight controller measures VBAT, and then uh, your, it, it transmits the VBAT data to the receiver via telemetry. And Bob's your uncle. Well, uh, first of all, not all flight controllers can do smart port telemetry. If you have an F1 board, you may have to jump, jump through some hoops to get smart port working, and you may just not be able to get it working because they don't have enough UARTs. And you may want to use those UARTs for other things. So, uh, so that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is that uh, some some boards, a few boards, one board in specific, the X Racer F303 does not have a VBAT pin. Oh no! What are you going to do? Well, certainly one thing you can do is use the analog input on this receiver to measure your battery voltage and send it back to your Tyrannus with telemetry, uh, and that's that's certainly a, a viable approach. Some people even prefer that approach to, say, an OSD. Um, so it could go either way. All right, so basically there's there's a lot of situations in which having an analog voltage sensor is useful uh, and and not having one kind of sucks. So uh, it's kind of a bummer that this new, very small and deep-pinned uh, X4R does not have that. I kind of like that. And frankly, in the future, I might buy the standard X4R SB and deep-pin it myself so I get to keep that analog voltage sensor. No, we'll see. Um, you may say, well, what about all the other things you're missing out by not having smart port telemetry? 
And and I had that thought too. I, when I f first went to the X4R receiver from the D4R, I was not able to do telemetry because I'm using a NAS Rev5 and it doesn't have enough UARTs to do all the things I want to do and smart port telemetry on top of that. And I thought, well, oh no, I'm missing out on all this data. And then I realized the only thing I ever use telemetry for anyway is RSSI and VBAT. And I can get VBAT from the analog sensor and I get RSSI, just, that's just I always get RSSI from the receiver. So in fact, the fact that I'm not getting smart port telemetry, what else is it going to be reporting? Accelerometer data, GPS? I don't have a current sensor attached to my flight control board. I have one on my OSD, but that's different. You know, so you're not actually missing much if you're not doing telemetry. Although I do it, uh, assuming you have an OSD or some other way of doing battery monitoring and, and current monitoring and stuff, which I which I do. Like I said, I use the ROSD Pro Mini board. So actually, I don't think telemetry is that big of a deal if you've got an OSD and you've got an analog sensor to let you do VBAT monitoring. Um, I do use VBAT monitoring as a backup for my OSD. I use my OSD as my primary form of monitoring, but I occasionally will get so busy flying that I won't think to check it. And in times like that, it's nice to have your Tyrannus be able to say, you know, A A2 critical, A2 critical. You go, what? I just started flying. Oh, no, that battery was already dead. So I uh, definitely don't want to give that up, even though I use the OSD as my main form of battery voltage monitoring. Anyway, I, I think I have talked enough about this, as much about this as I possibly can. There you go. Just a few grams. Uh, not quite as light as a Spectrum satellite, but darn close. Darn close. Pretty small, pretty light, and uh, pretty nice. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, hopefully I'll get back in the air soon. And uh, as always, happy flying.